Okay, so tell me, how bad was I? Don't hold back, I can take it. You just need to lean into a wave a little more. You're still too upright. The lower you are, the faster you'll go. I'm, I'm just trying to stay on the board at the moment. The last thing I need is speed. Better than you think. Yeah, well, you have to say that. You're I'm, my boyfriend. I'm serious. You should enter some events at the surf carnival. Are you crazy? Why would I do that? Well, you're good enough. You just need to practice some more. Um, I need to practice a lot. Besides, I don't even know if I have time. Well, we'll make time. Hey, do you reckon Ruby would be up for it? I mean, she's fit and it might help her through whatever she's going through at the moment. I was kind of hoping it was, you know, something we could do together. You mean like me and you time? Yeah. Like this weekend? It's going to be a different sort of me and you time. <laughs> I could understand that uh, chores, I could pretty much live with any punishment. But getting rid of the car, she's totally overreacting. I reckon. Yeah, although I do see her point. No, yeah, she is. She's totally overreacting. After everything with April, the car was the thing that got me through it all, and, and now she's getting rid of it? Don't give up. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you can talk to her. Maybe tell her how much it means to you. You didn't see her last night. She's not going to change her mind. Can you talk to John about it? I mean, will that help? That's actually a pretty good idea. He's the one who owns the car. I mean, she can't sell it without his permission. <laughs> yeah, that might actually work. Oh, unless he's gone off the car too. Hey, he didn't seem too happy about it, especially when he found out about Ruby and Casey. Yeah, that was crazy. I mean, is it just me or has she gone totally off the road? She has been acting quite weird lately. Uh, what's with her going to hospital? It's probably nothing. I think it's something serious, and she won't even talk to me about it. Then don't worry about it. She's my friend, and she's totally changed. I mean, what do you think's happening? I don't know. Guess we have more in common than we thought. But then there are some people that seem confident and sure of themselves because they are. doesn't she the family the looks the brain the perfect boyfriend maybe some people are just born lucky maybe it's just a cover we don't think they're happy she wouldn't be if she knew the truth what do you mean nothing just i'm sure it's not as perfect as it seems right <laughs> nothing is well that's true i'm just jealous well, I'm not, actually. I have no reason to be. You're so not perfect. Well, we can't all just wind up with Mr. Perfect, Tindy. <laughs> Ruby, you're a great girl, and one day you'll find someone just perfect for you, too. What, like Romeo? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> because I already have. What do you mean? I mean... Me and Romeo. I had him first, and he is not as perfect as you think. So, thank you for your advice. But you can keep him, and in the future, you might want to keep a closer eye on him. Romeo, what's she talking about? Next time on Home and Away. I'm sorry, you've just got to leave. No! I trusted him, you know.